Hi guys, back with another video. If you've spent any time on my channel, you've probably seen this thing quite a bit. I use this a lot for squirrel hunting. I like to do a little bit of target shooting with it. This is a PCP air rifle. It's actually called the Walther Rain, if you're interested in that. It's a 22 caliber. So PCP, what does that mean? PCP means pre-charged pneumatic. Pre-charged pneumatic means that you have a cylinder that you have to fill with air. That's where it gets its power from. Up underneath the plastic here is a cylinder. That's where the air is stored. So normally when you get these things, a lot of people buy a hand pump. Hand pump has to be rated for 4,500 PSI. That's a lot of pressure. A regular tire pump isn't going to do it. You have to get one of those PCP pumps. It's a pretty cool little thing. I know I enjoy shooting it. Uh, we take it to the range quite a bit. We get to mess around with it. It's pretty inexpensive when it comes to ammunition. You buy a tin of pellets. You compare that to anything that uses powder. Quite a bit of price difference. So using a hand pump, when you're an older guy like me, it will wear you out quickly. And it becomes a pain to the point where you might not enjoy shooting very much because you don't like pumping the gun up. So recently, I had a company reach out to me. The company is called Viver. They asked me if I would do a review on one of their products. The product I picked was a PCP air compressor. Pretty cool device. Uh, we're going to get it out here. I'll show you what's in the box. So I got this on the doorstep yesterday. Uh, so this is what we got. I got a box on top. Looks like it contains a couple booklets. Uh, looks like a owner's manual. From the looks of the owner's manual, it looks like it gives you a lot of pictures and explanation about the compressor, which is a good thing. A lot of times you get instructions, they're very vague and you have a hard time figuring it out. Set these to the side. Right on top here we got a hose. This is what connects the compressor to your rifle. We've got a set of alligator clips. You could connect this thing right to your car battery. You're out, out in the field or out of the target range with no power available. You could connect this, get your electric right from your car battery. That's pretty cool. We've got a little bag here with some air filters. This thing does have an air filter in that line. As you can see, if you didn't know, when you're compressing the air like that, a lot of times it'll pull moisture out of the air, especially on a humid day. You'll get a lot of moisture. That's what these little things do is uh, capture the moisture so it's not going into your cylinder. Got some other parts in there, some O-rings and stuff. It's nice that they send that. You got your cord to plug it in to the wall. And here's the box. This is a wall adapter. This is instead of using the car battery, you could plug the thing right into your uh, outlet and use it that way if you're at home. Pretty cool. Get this stuff out of the way. And here's the compressor itself. Got it packed in this foam. This is the compressor. Looks like it has a, a temperature gauge. You got your gauge here for your air pressure. On off switch, couple connections here. Looks like it's got a built in fan. Pretty cool device. Let me give you a better look of how this thing works. So what we want to do first is we want to check this filter housing. They give you a couple filters in there to trap moisture. Now I used a couple 14 millimeter wrenches. Open this up. And there is a filter already in there. So normally when you're using these compressors, they will collect a lot of moisture in that filter. So you want to switch those out periodically 
keep the moisture from going inside your firearm. The next thing you're going to want to do is put your probe into the hose. You want to make sure you have the right one that's for your gun and insert it. All right, so we're getting ready to set things up. Uh, there's a bleeder valve on this. You want to make sure that's closed. You turn it clockwise. Everything's hooked up to the to the PCP air rifle. Now, it has a temperature gauge on it. They want to make sure that is below 80 degrees Celsius. So you just watch the numbers on there. If it gets any higher than that, you want to turn it off. It has a fan. As soon as I plug it in, the fan will start. Everything's connected up as far as the electrical stuff. So we're going to plug it in. The fan kicked in. got a pressure gauge on the gun itself. Sometimes when you shut off, you want to leave that fan run a little bit. It pulls the thing off. So that's basically what you do. You just keep an eye on your gauges and make sure you know you don't overfill it. So now I'll show you how to hook it up to the car. Alright, so we got everything set up here to attach the alligator clips. Let me show you how that works. First thing you're going to want to do is connect the black to the negative, the red to the positive. The fan kicks on, close our bleeder valve, start the pump. So now basically it's the same thing. Just watch the gauges, make sure you don't have the field. So now what you want to do before you disconnect the probe you want to open the bleeder valve, let off that pressure, and pull the probe out. All right, so we've got a chance to look at the Viver pump, PCP compressor. I'll tell you what, the thing is really convenient. It filled up the air rifle pretty quick. Really not a whole lot of hassle to it. You just make sure your valve is closed. Plug the thing in, hit the switch, and just watch the gauge. That's pretty much all you do. A lot better than wearing yourself out with a hand pump. If you're at the range and you don't, or out in the field and you don't have anywhere to plug into, it comes with the alligator clips. Hook it right to your battery. That's a heck of a convenience right there. You don't have to worry about having AC power to get the thing to work. But if you're at home or in the garage or at your club or whatever, and you have AC power, you've got the box to connect. And you get your power that way. So Viver got a good thing here with this pump. It's very convenient, and if you've got to use a PCP rifle, you don't want to be using that hand pump all the time. That thing wears you out. So I want to thank Viva for sending this to me. I believe they're going to provide a link for me in the description below that you could use if you want to take a better look at one of these things. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.